Hello and welcome to Him Tutorials once again. It's me, Poonam. I'm here to help you in your online study. Second chapter, components of food is going on and the subtopic nutrients we are doing. We have discussed all the important nutrients that is carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. And today we are going to learn about two additional nutrients which are also very important for the uh, good growth of the body. And uh, so for that, the learning objectives which we are going to learn today, that is we will learn about the water and we will learn about the roughage. So without much delay, let's begin with the topic first. The first objective which we are going to learn about that is roughage. And this roughage is also called as dietary fiber. Also, this di dietary fiber is provided to our body with the help of vegetables, fruits, grains, pulses, okay, and many more are there. And these uh, dietary fibers or the roughage uh, does not provide any kind of nutritional value to our body or it doesn't give any nutrition to our body so no nutrition is provided no nutrition is provided by the roughage but uh, it helps in adding the bulk to the food okay it helps in adding the bulk to the food it means the majority of the food the majority which of the food which we are eating that comprises of vegetables and fruits and doctor also recommend us to uh, eat more vegetables and fruits and rather than drinking uh, you can say juices or soups or uh, this liquid type of material because this liquid is very much tough to digest by the body okay but when we eat vegetables and fruits so these vegetables or fruits uh, just add fiber to our diet and that fiber is very much important for the proper digestion of the food so it helps in proper bowel movement okay of food bowel movement means when we are eating food through the mouth the digestion starts in the mouth and the food is just converting from the complex form to the simple okay and this movement of simple form of, move, of food in the digestive system that is called as the bowel movement of the food so if you are having diet uh, uh, or you are having a uh, roughage diet or dietary fiber in your diet then it will help in easy movement of the food inside the body also uh, this um, you can say dietary fiber it prevents constipation okay it prevents constipation means uh, the uh, uh, some uh, people have the problem of this constipation and those suffer most who, who does not have this dietary fiber in their uh, diet because this dietary fiber just add bulk to the food as we know that the mostly the vegetables and fruits they contain vitamins and minerals so vitamins and minerals are what they are the protective food our, of our, our body but also they are dietary fibers dietary fibers in the form of what complex carbohydrate that is cellulose okay and our body can't digest cellulose because we do not have the enzyme cellulase in it that enzyme is present in animals so animals are very much efficient to digest the complex form of carbohydrate that is cellulose but when we are eating raw vegetables and fruits these vegetables and fruits are just adding dietary fiber to our food and that helps in preventing the uh, situation of constipation constipation means the when we are passing the stools or we are passing the undigested fruit throughout our body then they become little bit harder so to soft that stool uh, the dietary fiber is added in our uh, diet and when we take this roughage we take this dietary fiber in our diet that will lead to proper bowel movement and it will be easy for us to pass out the stools throughout the body so this is all about the first objective that is the roughage now we are going to discuss about the second objective and that is water now water is 
very essential life liquid okay it also does not provide any kind of nutrition to the body so no nutrition is provided by the water okay no nutrition is given by the water but the water comprises three fourth part of our body it comprises three fourth part of the body weight and it is very much important for many things in the body like uh, it um, helps in maintaining the maintaining the constant body temperature okay how the body temperature is maintained uh, when we feel very hot during the summers then just to cool our uh, out our body we sweat out and the sweat contains what water and uh, the toxic salts which are present in our body so it will lead to coolness of the body so it helps in maintaining the uh, body temperature okay then uh, it also helps in absorbing and movement of nutrients in the body by the food we eat okay the diet which we are you are we are taking in our body that diet can consist of nutrients and to absorb those nutrients and to circulate those nutrients inside our body this water is very much important as a uh, source which helps in absorbing the nutrients okay and the third thing is that it maintains the constant body temperature it absorbs the nutrients in the body and also the water helps in excreting out waste from the body okay and that waste is in the form of urine and sweat okay etc so in the form of urine in the form of sweat we are just ex excreting out the waste materials through our body with the help of this water and now what are the sources which helps uh, to just uh, provide water inside our body the uh, liquid food which we uh, 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 takes the water we drinks the tea we drink the milk we take the juices we drink the soup we take so ev every kind of liquid diet is responsible for providing the water content in the body also uh, the water is provided mainly in our body with the help of vegetables and fruits because many vegetables and fruits are just source of very good amount of water for example we can go for grapes grapes are 50 percent amount of water in them and the richest source in the fruits is watermelon watermelon is very good source of having the water uh, content or to maintain the water content in our body and there is one condition when there is excess loss, loss of water takes place from the body okay we are not drinking much water but just uh, the, there is excess loss of water from the body take place that condition is called as dehydration and if body undergo dehydration then it will lead to many severe conditions like diarrhea which leads to loose motions okay and uh, if the dehydration takes place then water is uh, very much lost lost out from the body and we know that in our body the nutrients are just circulating in our body with the help of blood okay and blood has also a, a big part of water in it so if the water loss out from the blood then the blood become thin thick and if the blood become thick then it will lead to severe pain and cramps in the body and sometimes it becomes so thick and so much rich in fat so uh, as so much cholesterol level increases that it lead to heart attack also so severe conditions are also and severe diseases are also occur if there is prolongation of the dehydration in the body okay and to get rid of this diarrhea and to get rid of this loose motion condition what we can go for we can go for the rehydration okay we can go for the rehydration dehydration means loss of water rehydration means to add more amount of water in the body and how we can go for simply rehydration with the help of a very simple home remedy which we are uh, uh, also using in our home we have to what we have to do we have to take 200 ml of 
water and to this 200 ml of water we have to add 1 teaspoon of sugar and along with it a pinch of very little amount of pinch of salt and your rehydration solution what is ready rehydration solution is ready and doctors sometimes also recommend for this rehydration solution and that is ors that is ors oral rehydration solution so this is all about the water as water is the life liquid for our body and let's recap all the things very quickly so uh, we have learned about the roughage that roughage is, roughage is what that is the dietary fiber it is provided to our body by different kind of vegetables fruits pulses seals you are taking in your diet it has no nutritional value but it adds the bulk to the food majority of the food and it helps in easy bowel movement also it prevents the constipation okay now if you go for the water then water Water also give no nutrients to the body but it forms the three-fourth part of the body weight three-fourth part of the body weight so it is very important okay and it maintains the constant body temperature it also helps in absorbing the nutrients inside the body by different type of diet materials which we are eating and it helps in excreting out the waste like urine and sweat from the body it helps in uh, maintaining the uh, rehydration uh, value of the body if loss of water takes place from the body it is called as dehydration but we can rehydrate our body by drinking large amount of water uh, continuously in a day and also we can go for a rehydration solution how we will make a rehydration solution in our home uh, we will go for the 200 ml of water Water, one tablespoon of uh, sugar along with a pinch of salt and this electrolytic solution is prepared and you can have this electrolytic solution and you can just rehydrate your body especially in the uh, summers and rainy seasons okay and uh, this ORS ORS is what oral rehydration solution this is recommended by the doctors uh, to just improve the uh, rehydration level of the body of ours okay so i hope you understood all the things very uh, quickly and very nicely uh, so up to our next video keep watching keep learning thank you so much